Hello guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to this video. So if you're a new visitor, welcome to the channel. And if you're an old visitor or a returning visitor, uh, you know what's up. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to explain the position and order portion or part of Binance. Most people, I think, mistakenly call it the order book. Okay, because it probably houses uh, your open position and your open trades. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show that. Of course, when you log into your account, you know what's up. You go to USD features. So you hover on derivatives. Whether you are on this interface after login or not, just simply go to derivatives and go to USD features, USD M features. Okay, and then when it opens up. Uh, this interface is what shows. So this is the current interface of Binance. That's features trading on Binance, right? So this particular section I'm trying to explain it's the same. Yeah, I believe it's always it's almost the same thing for for the spot trading. Okay, but I'm going to like explain further about the spot trading in a later video. Okay, and I believe I've already done an explanation between the spot and the features trading. I'll put a link in the description and also on the top right of this video when you'll be watching it okay so i'm still going to do like an updated video later on of comparison of the spots and the features so the basic difference of that okay so uh but the major difference that people actually notice is that on the on the spot part of it you only buy and then you sell or you come out of the trade but on features you can actually buy and you can actually sell what it means is that when the market is going down you can be making your money and when it's going up you can be making money on the features part but on the spot part it's only when it's going up that's when you can make money that's when you have actually you buy on the low and you sell on the high that's just what you do on the spots all right so uh once you enter a trade so let's assume that we've actually probably entered the market exact market rate i believe i've explained i will link it i'll put a link in the description since sorry about that to where i explained the limit and the market so whether i want to enter on the market part or the limit part whatever it is but i actually choosing which one we want to do and then we'll either enter the long or the short okay of course be mindful of the leverage so i'll also put a link in the description on the top right to the video about leverage and we'll, how when I explain leverage and what it means and how best to maximize it. All right. So when you enter a position, this is where the whole stuff shows. So in a case whereby this is not showing for your own, what you can do to turn it on is if you scroll up uh, to the top, you can see the settings button, just hover on it. And of course, this is where you can turn on the teams. And we'll do uh, another video to probably explain this properly. But when you scroll down, you can see position and open orders so you be sure that it's turned on all right so that's why i said that some people call it the other book but this is actually the other book okay uh and this is position and open orders okay so this houses the position you're on and all that so i'm going to explain this whole stuff on here so you can understand so when we end the trade the position means the trade that you are currently on Okay, that's the position you're currently on. This is actually like an ongoing trade. Okay, so you probably entered that with a market trade. That's I'm trying to like explain it in depth now. Entered uh, with a market, not a limit, or probably you enter with a limit, and then the trade is activated. Okay, once it's activated and it's currently ongoing, you're either taking a profit or a loss. Like it's currently ongoing and activated. I believe you all know what that means it will show up here of course this whole stuff is the same the symbol the size the entry so this symbol what you enter the size as which you entered uh, the entry price the mark price liquidation price so this like gives you an estimate of liquidation price the market uh, margin ratio margin and all that so this is the same across all options okay so you the open orders is simply the orders that is currently open in a case but it's not active okay so when you probably set up a limit 
So this happens mostly in the limits part, of course, in the market part. When you enter with the market, it automatically becomes an activated position because you have to it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I speak very fast. So uh, when you enter with the market, it automatically activates on its own immediately. Okay. So when that happens, it enters immediately to the position part. But on the limits, okay. So if I'm a bit fast, you can actually slow down the video. Okay. So if if you enter the limits part, you get to see it on the open orders, right? So this open orders houses your uh, the orders that you have that will likely be activated uh, maybe close to immediately, like in a few minutes, in a few hours, or whatever, in a few days. So you probably have made your your analysis and you you're hoping to enter a trade probably by the end of tomorrow because based on what you actually have done and you might be be busy tomorrow and don't want to forget that particular entry so once it happens you see it here you see the time that you set up the symbol type side price amount field and all that so that's actually what you get to see on there okay then the other history okay so the other history houses all orders that you've actually set up so there are cases whereby you set up an order and somehow uh, let's say a news comes by and you likely see that instead of let's say that you on uh, this is a 15 minutes candle yes so probably at this particular range you actually expected that it will come down maybe because you didn't see this entry on time and you want to enter again but you know that it will likely and get to this, this range and you can see that it's already there Okay, so you probably picked a lower range, which should be this. Now, see that I actually touched before it went up. So, you probably analyze and saw that it will likely get to this range before it starts going up again. Okay, so it will likely sell to this area before it starts buying again. So, you decided to set up. So, at this 15 minutes candle around here, you probably decided to set up a future entry once it gets to maybe 1900. You want to enter a trade to buy. All right so what you simply do is to once you enter that trade and probably maybe because of uh what's it called yeah it's supposed to happen this happened anyway but in a case whereby maybe a news came along and you saw that this starts selling more than what you actually anticipated or expected all right you can easily cancel the trade so this other history houses trades that you that is currently that that has been activated or you probably cancelled so it's more like as a list so let's assume that you you have a list of 10 orders within a month right and only five out of the 10 orders got activated and you cancelled your many five because of some issues or whatever you still get to see them here well activated or cancelled and you can filter down within one day or one week or one month or three months so depending on which one you want you can actually fill that down depending on which one you want okay so you can also like do a custom based on the dates on whatever you want okay uh all right and then you can search for it okay so for the trade history if you click on the trade history just like what we have on the other history this houses every single trade that you've entered all right so every single opposition that has been activated it houses that okay and just like what you get on the other history so you can filter around within a day a week a month three months or you can custom filter depending on which one you prefer okay so you can actually filter down depending on which you prefer all right so that's for the trade history and transaction history okay so this also that's similar to the trade history all right and you also have the same tweak on whatever it is all right and you also have the assets so this is like a list of assets that you have on your uh futures trading wallet all right so i did a video about the different wallets i will put a link in the description to that so that we understand where this actually came from all right because uh we have different wallets in binance okay so we have the 
if you're just trading wallets of course and when you move the money on there you get to see every single wallet that you have so you can actually transfer between them into whichever one that you want right so that's actually for the position and open orders in trading so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so that you will know when we drop our next video and so see you next time thank you for watching i'll catch you next one cheers